Welcome back to Pennsylvania Outdoor Life. I'm in the fur bearers corner of the cabin right now. And of course, this is usually the time we do Pennsylvania people and places. Make sure you take photos and send them to us. We'll get to that a little bit later. But right now I'm gonna tell you September 10th starts the squirrel season. Yes, everything is coming upon us very quickly. Now we were out with Dennis Beach and Tom Champy in January doing a little squirrel hunting. Joining us today, Dennis Beach and Tommy Champy. We're gonna to talk to them as we go out and do a little bit of squirrel hunting. Oh, I've been hunting a lot of, a lot of big game in, in, the, in the last few years. I actually haven't hunted small game in a long time. So I got, I got a, new, a new gun, a new antique gun, 20 right. gauge. When you're talking about big game, you're out west doing a lot of different muleys and elk and moose, that kind of stuff, right? Yeah, yeah, I've been been, been doing a lot of lot of elk hunting, but did some moose hunting and and then and, and some mule deer hunting and it's so, fun. So when you think about dropping an eight hundred pound animal and we're going after one that may weigh a pound and a half, it's not silly, it's traditional, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it is more of a traditional hunt. I don't know I may even like squirrel hunting better, because if you're like hunting Elk, you may hunt 10, 15 days and not even get a shot. With squirrel hunting, you may shoot a whole box of shells in a day. That's, and still that's not fun. bring, one, oh, bring still... anything home. <laughs> <laughs> that don't bother me a bit. <laughs> um, traditional shotgun hunting for you, is that what you usually do? Yeah, yeah, I hunted with a with a 12 gauge my whole life. Uh, when I was a kid, it was always my dad's 12 gauge Ithaca featherweight. And, and this model 20 gauge is almost the same, the I... same shotgun. He's behind the branch. I can see a leg. Ready? Another one in the crotch of this tree right ahead of you. You see him sitting there? That's an $8 squirrel. I think you got them both. Yeah, there wasn't a third one. Oh, that's a dandy. <laughs> you said it was gonna happen, good job, Dennis. All right, thank you. That's a dandy. I would be remiss to not ask you, what do you do for a livelihood? Oh, I am a, a chainsaw wood carver, so I, I and and performer. And you do a lot of wildlife. I mean, that some oh, of the yeah. stuff that I have seen you do lately. Tell me about some of your projects that we can even see on on your Facebook page. Oh, oh, uh, the last really nice big project that I'm really proud of. If if you go up to Benazette to the Elk Viewing Center. I did, a, I did a big elk there, uh, bigger than life, out of, out of oak. But if, if it's not hunting, it's your, your, your carving, you're all about wildlife and just enjoying it out there, aren't you? Oh yeah, 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 I am. And the other year I started back fishing again, uh, trout fishing down, down small creeks. Oh man, so much fun. Is it my dad always said you put in two low brass shells and for a kicker you put a high, high brass, brass one in for the last shot. <laughs> That's when the rabbit's really far away. And when you're shooting a 16 gauge, you get whatever you can take. <laughs> They're hard to find. Nice and it's going. You and your little 20 gauge. Yeah, hey, that's the, that's the first squirrel for this 20 gauge. And how, how long has it been since you shot a squirrel, period? Oh man, years, I years. Know he, I know what he's cooking tonight. <laughs> years, yeah, back, Squ back, when the, uh, back when the rabbit population dropped down, I just kind of gave up on the on the small game hunt, yeah. you know. Squirrel population. Well, welcome back. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that was great. I'm actually carrying a Savage 22 semi-automatic. So this is my gun of choice for squirrels now. It's a lot of fun. You know, we've done a lot of, a lot of hunting with shotguns for squirrels, but this has become my gun of choice right now. If you're hunting and you see squirrels, you know there's squirrels there. But when you look at a side hill like this, what makes you say there should be squirrels there? Well, when we're looking back here, we see a lot of nests. We see some nut trees, we see some oaks. So we know there's gonna be squirrels in there. The nests are the dead giveaway, right? Um, it's just a matter of patience, sitting, waiting them out. They'll be out. He's straight up in front of me on the ground. 
coming over toward you across the log. Yeah, I lost him now. There he is. Right there, right there. That's a dead squirrel. Uh, there we go. One for the pot. Squirrels have been, you know, we all cut our teeth on squirrels, right? Um, I used to small game hunt a lot. I had beagles and always went back to squirrels as small game go-to. Um, now it's, you know, it's still my preferred choice other than deer and turkeys, you know, they're number one and number two. But as far as a wintertime activity, you can't beat this. I love squirrel hunting. I love the idea of sitting out there when everything else is out of season. Early season coming up, September 10th, and I like squirrel meat. We are indeed gonna take a short break and we'll be right back.